So if you ever questioned your ability to achieve or create or become the person that you know you're capable of, now this unworthiness is something that can bleed into all areas of our life. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some simple ways in which you can start to raise your value and increase your worthiness. So if you're new to my channel, guys, my name is Jordan Kalish and I'm a purpose and performance coach. And be sure to hit the subscribe button because I got plenty more videos like this to give you some tools, strategies, and simple shifts to start to move you closer to you becoming the whole complete person that you know you are. So when it comes to tuning into higher value or worthiness, it really starts with getting crystal clear on what areas in your life do you feel like you're unworthy? Maybe it's in your relationship, maybe it's in your business, maybe it's in your career, you know, maybe it's in your finances. You know, oftentimes it's, it's those areas in our life where we feel like we're not good enough, the results actually reflect that internal belief we have about ourselves. So if you reflect on that for a second, you know, usually your bank account is a great indicator of your level of worthiness. Uh, because we know your level of worthiness is your value. How valuable do you perceive yourself to be is represented by how much you receive in return. How much love you get in return in your relationship is a direct reflection of how much love you give to yourself, your worthiness. So you're watching this video because there's chances are there's an area in your life where you feel like you're not living up to your potential. You know you're worthy of more and you want to attract more in this area, but there's some sort of outdated belief system that's repelling or you know, blocking you from receiving this value, right? So the first thing that I'm gonna to suggest to start to raise your value and start to attract the things you deserve or you're worthy of receiving is firstly look at you know, where do you start to notice this feeling of unworthiness come up and what is that feeling? If you look at your bank account and it triggers a feeling of anxiety, then where do you feel that? Is it in your chest, in your stomach, in your solar plexus? If you think about your relationship and how your partner treats you or how they um, are not treating you and that brings you a sense of like dissatisfaction or sadness, where do you feel that? I want you to first get very clear on where in your body you feel like you're holding on to energy and this unworthiness feeling. And you know, maybe when you say or think about these things out loud, you start to notice what comes up inside your body. That is the first thing I want you to focus on, the awareness. Where do you feel this? Where do you feel the unworthiness? And what is, get curious around that. So step one, identify where in the body you feel these things. Step two, I wanna create a new pattern for you because chances are up until now, the pattern that you've had around this feeling is avoidance. I don't wanna feel this. I don't like this feeling. I need to get rid of it. Maybe you've landed on this video because you're trying to get rid of this unworthiness that's in there. The shift I would like you to make now is Let's let go of trying to get rid of it. Let's actually embrace and love this feeling because ultimately this feeling is coming from a part of you that's connected to the past where at some moment in time you were shamed, you were told you weren't good enough, you told you were unworthy of receiving something that you really wanted and that emotion that, got, got, that resonated in your body in that moment is still stuck in there. Because back then you didn't have the awareness or the tools to allow it to be processed. So right now in this moment or in future moments when this feeling comes up again, it's our opportunity to heal and integrate the past. So the second thing I want you to do is really love and embrace this feeling. Let's, let's, let's welcome this feeling. Just say, hey, there's that anxiety around money again. Cool, where is that? Let's notice that. Let's see it. There's a part of you down there that wants to feel seen. And when you distract, and hide and avoid feeling that feeling, it just pushes it further down. Now step three to raising your value and becoming more worthy is I want you to ask the question in your life, what do I need to commit to to allow myself to feel worthy or valuable of receiving something? Love, abundance, money, joy, you know, whatever it is that you wanna receive. What do you need to commit to? Now I'll give you an example of what I decided to commit to because I realized in my life three years ago that I wasn't earning the income that I wanted. You know, my bank account was low. I was living in Toronto trying to, trying to find, it, uh, find my way in the world and I just wasn't getting paid enough. And I was like, fuck man, what's, you know, I know I'm capable of so much yet my, my income just isn't there. And I was struggling to pay the rent. You know, and what, what that created for me was so much anxiety. I remember this like, crippling anxiety around my, my financial situation. 
And the opportunity came up when a coach and a mentor helped shine the light on this part of me that felt like I wasn't enough. This part of me that felt like if I just worked harder and, and did more things and achieved more, and once I got my money and financial position to a certain level, then this feeling would go away. But really, this part of me just wanted some love and attention. This part of me just wanted some reassurance that it's not money that I'm chasing. It's not recognition from others that I'm after. It's just a feeling of connection with myself, a feeling of wholeness and love and significance. So I want you to identify, and this is what I did, I identified that, and I decided to commit to myself a daily practice that allowed me to establish that connection, to fulfill that need that I thought money would give me. That need was love, connection, and significance. And I gave that to myself through committing to practices such as meditation, breath work, you know, giving myself the, the time, slowing things down, and just being with myself. That's what I committed to. Now, chances are you resonate with that too, and chances are there's some areas in your life that you need to ramp up the commitment. Ramp up the commitment to yourself. And I can guarantee it, your worthiness, you will attract the direct correlation of what you put in on the inside. So if you've been working 12 hour days and you're not seeing the results, work less, work on the inside, commit to yourself, be with yourself, love yourself. And that might feel very uncomfortable initially, but trust me, that's where the value, that's where the, the abundance flows from. Now, I want you to leave a comment below. Like tell me, if you've resonated with that, if, that, if you know that's the block that you have as well, what's the commitment that you've struggled following through on. I'm really curious to hear from you on that. Now, if you wanna get more insights, guys, if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into this, be sure to check out the, the content in my Facebook group. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram, at State Shifters. You can check out the resources in the description. Hit the subscribe button because I got more of these videos coming for you. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.